I believe we're all aware of the fact that we're seeing a shocking rise of incidents of anti-Semitism in the world today. We're seeing the erosion of support for Israel, even in Western nations. And yes, the world is filled with hypocrisy. Everyone, it seems, blames Israel vocally, vociferously. And when missiles strike from Gaza to Israel, as they have been for the past few days, the world is quiet. It's true. It's unfair. It's immoral. It's hypocritical. But what are we going to do about it? That is the key question. I don't want to explore how we got into this mess in the first place. I believe I have ideas how we got here. But I do want to explore at least one central way in which we can get out of it, in which we can begin to resolve these problems of anti-Semitism and, let's call it, Hasbara. For years, we wouldn't admit that we had a problem. A problem of Hasbara that plagued Israel and the world. For years, we tried to resolve it then, after we realized that there is a war of ideas going on that's as important as the military war. Then we tried to throw money at it. We hired slick PR firms. We produced nice videos. We spent a lot of money, by we meaning Israel, Jewish organizations as a whole. And as the Yiddish expression goes, in my opinion, anyways, farfallen de gelt. And then with the success of the BDS movement that seemed to come from nowhere, and that suddenly was everywhere, I think it hit upon us, finally. We have a problem. We have a problem that's very serious, and we need to find ways to resolve it. And in my opinion, again, I don't think we have the foggiest idea how to resolve it. We throw money at it, but money is not the answer. There's no shortage of Jewish money around. America is the richest Jewish nation, Jews in America, the richest than any period in Jewish history. And yet Holocaust survivors are going to sleep hungry. It's a shanda. The problem is not whether there are Jews with money. There are. The problem is leadership, vision. There's a shortage of commitment and resolve and vision.